Okay, all right, today we're gonna talk about the benefits of brazing and using Lowbrow's new cast bungs. In brazing, you're able to braze ferrous and non-ferrous materials together. And one benefit with these are is gonna give you a nice seamless look. There'll be no weld to sand down. And if you want like old knucklehead parts, like knucklehead floorboard tabs, I fix a lot of early knucklehead frames and they're all braced together. So they asked me to show you guys a little bit on how to do it. You're gonna need 16th low fume brazing rod. You're gonna need the white flux and a brush. And you're gonna need a small rosebud torch and some eye protection. So you start by just putting the flux onto the materials. You can't use too much. And then put that where you'd want it, like where you'd want to mount your gas tape or your, your exhaust or anything. And then you fire up your torch. Fire it up, let it be a little hot. Let some of the little fingers show right there. And one thing you want to do and pay attention to is the braze is going to go where the heat is. You're not trying to feed it like it's your TIG welding. You want to get the part red hot or cherry red and work the heat into the center and the braze will follow that. You can see the braze is going right to the, where the heat is. And then work it around. Remember not to stay in one spot with the heat too long. You don't want to distort the tubing, warp it. And then do a little bit on the bottom. much braze. Now I'll show you a little tip I do is if you feel like you got too much braze on there you can just get it hot and kiss it with the wire brush and you kind of get that seamless look and that's pretty much all there is to it.